Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to inferred mineral resources, consider the following statements. 1. It is the part of a mineral resource for which quantity, grade, or quality, and mineral content can be estimated with a low level of confidence. 2. It is inferred from geological evidence and assumed but not verified geological or grade continuity. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 The answer is C. A mineral resource is a concentration or occurrence of material of intrinsic economic interest in or on the Earth's crust in such form, quality, and quantity that there are reasonable prospects for eventual economic extraction. Mineral resources are further subdivided in order of increasing geological confidence into inferred, indicated, and measured categories question to consider the following statements about crony capitalism. 1. It is an economic system in which businesses thrive not as a result of free enterprise, but rather as a return on money amassed through collusion between a business class and the political class. To the term crony capitalism was initially applied to states involved in the 1997 European financial crisis such as Germany, France and Spain. 3. Crony capitalism spills over into the government, the politics, and the media when this nexus distorts the economy and affects society to an extent it corrupts public serving economic, political, and social ideals. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only the answer is B. The term crony capitalism was initially applied to states involved in the 1997 Asian financial crisis such as Indonesia, South Korea, and Thailand. This is often achieved by the manipulation of relationships with state power by business interests rather than unfettered competition in obtaining permits, government grants, tax breaks, or other forms of state intervention over resources where business interests exercise undue influence over the state's deployment of public goods, for example, mining concessions for primary commodities or contracts for public works. Question 3 with reference to a glacial lake outburst flood, GLOF, consider the following statements. 1. The sudden release of water from a lake fed by glacier melt that has formed at the side, in front, within, beneath, or on the surface of a glacier. 2. GLOF has the potential to catastrophically threaten people's lives, livelihoods, and regional infrastructure. 3. Antarctica has the highest number and area of glacial lakes. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is A. Greenland has the highest number and area of glacial lakes. Question 4. Consider the following statements about ISRO's small satellite launch vehicle, SSLV D2, recently launched. 1. It will place the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Indian National Satellite System or INSAT, 3. And to co-passenger satellites, Janus, 1 and Azadisat, to developed by startups, in a 450 km circular orbit around the Earth. To the vehicle was developed to capture the emerging small and microsatellite commercial market with launches offered on demand. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 2 only C. Both 1 and 2 D. Neither 1 nor 2 The answer is B. It will place the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, 
Earth Observation Satellite EOS-07 and to co-passenger satellites Janus-1 and Azadisat-2 developed by startups in a 450 km circular orbit around the Earth. Question 5 What is Janus-1? Recently in news. 1 Janus-1 is a technology demonstrator satellite. To built by Germany-based Antares and its Indian partners X-Dealings and Anant Technologies. 3. It weighs only 10.2 kilograms and is a 6-unit cube satellite with 5 payloads on board, 2 from Singapore and 1 each from Kenya, Australia and Indonesia. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only The answer is B. Built by United States-based Antares and its Indian partners X-Dealings and Anant Technologies. Question 6. What is Azadisat 2? Recently in news. 1. The payloads have been built by 750 girl students from across India. 2. The payloads are Laura Amateur Radio, a sensor to measure radiation levels in space and sensors to measure the health of the satellite. 3. The satellite carries the G20 logo to space and the NCC song to celebrate 75 years of the organization. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only. The answer is C. Question 7. Consider the following statements about Nord Stream Pipeline. 1. Owned by the Russian energy giant Gazprom. 2. It is the longest subsea pipeline. 3. It is an export gas pipeline that runs under the Caspian Sea carrying gas from Russia to Europe. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only The answer is A. It is an export gas pipeline that runs under the Baltic Sea carrying gas from Russia to Europe. Question 8. Consider the following statements about Exercise Turkish. 1. The exercise by the National Security Guard NSG, and U.S. Special Operations Forces, SOF. 2. Held in Vishakhapatnam. 3. The joint exercise, for the first time, simulated a validation exercise for the chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, CBRN, terror response mission. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 3 only. The answer is B. Held in Chennai. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.